to get him back on the high road. Welcome to uh, another 7 out of 10 uh, Let's Play, and this time we're looking at Blue Estate. Joining me is uh, our very own sharpshooter, Ali. Hello, hello. And uh, you can probably see from in the bottom right-hand corner, this isn't just a normal shooter. Um, we're using the leap motion, which is a little piece of motion tech. Uh, so I can wave my finger over this little magic bar, and the cursor on screen moves. So... Uh, Let's see how this plays. It's literally gaming at your fingertips. <sighs> Never mind. You've just been booted by a lady. Yep. Yep. Another Saturday night in Nuneaton. Um, so yeah. Oh god. Uh, so yeah, this is. Um, I guess it's it's quite similar to Time Crisis. It's a very on the rail shooter um, with me wiggling my finger around instead of holding. Uh, um, one of the, what are they called, DEFCOMs? I can't remember what they were called. Uh, but yes, uh, I have the power at my fingertips. And uh, every time the cursor hovers over one of these poor, hapless souls, I unleash a bullet into their face. So there's no sort of trigger motion, you're just hovering over to yep. shoot. You could probably see just having to, no gesture whatsoever, just as soon as it hovers over them for a fraction of a second, uh, that's it, that's enough to leash the bullets. I do have to reload by uh, flicking off screen. Oh, he's gonna. So, yeah, flicking off screen uh, allows me to reload, and you saw the giant arrow there allows me to pick up health. So, it's really quite simple mechanics. So, you're making it look easy. Is, is it easy? This, I've probably played about an hour and a half so far, and uh, we'll get to the inappropriate uh, nature of the game soon. Um, but for the first 10 minutes, I think like most motion games, even like any games you're not used to, it's, it takes a while to uh, try and get to grips with how far you have to move across. Because I think from what, I'll show you in a second, but from one, just to move the cursor from one side of the screen to another, only, oh, reload. Oh, only, so that's that side, that's that side. It's probably only about 12 inches, 12 inches or so. Yeah, so it's very responsive. And uh, I think the game is quite forgiving, at least in that respect as well. So there we go. More. Oh, there's a nice one as well. We've got cover. All you have to do to get into cover is just hold your hand out flat like that. Ooh, right. cover's quickly disappearing. Get him. Reload. Get it. And just like Time Crisis, they tell you which guys are going to shoot you by uh, highlighting them. There's a lot of guys with a lot of guns. Yeah, the, considering this is a closed nightclub, there is a lot of off-duty staff hanging around who are very heavily armed. I think the last time I played this, the body count was well over 100. Oh dear. Even the chefs have got guns. <laughs> it's a dangerous part of town, this. And they're all really bad shots. Well, it's probably lucky for you, I guess. I think I am playing it on the normal difficulty setting rather than anything harder. But um, it is quite... They're going to get me because I've run out of bullets can get quite brutal. I think when I was learning how to get to grips with the control, I did die quite a few times. So there's the health bar on the bottom left, but it's, you can see that most of them just fall down very quickly. I think the whole reason is it's, it's a score attack. It's not for a Call of Duty death challenge or anything like that. It's just purely how high can you get your combo meter. Uh, so is it sort of designed for level playing again or yeah the, the the weird thing is though we'll get to the hair again in a minute the levels are really are quite long for that i think um i think a run through can take about 20 25 minutes and so it's not it's not the most easy of levels to go through and try and score attack because it takes so long i was, i'd imagine if it was like five ten minutes then it would probably have far more replay value but um it just yeah go, it goes on a bit and as you can see there's uh, the majority of the challenge is just wafting the finger in the right direction. It's, it's a weird one because the I are, I do quite like the tech. The tech is really smooth. Okay. Having this is the first time I've really seen it. I am I am impressed. Yeah, because there is absolutely no configuration whatsoever. I mean, it's just it's just this little map. It's not even a matchbox. It's a half matchbox size thing. You just put it on the table and your finger floats above it, that's it. No configuration whatsoever, it just knows what, what's going on. So is this the first game uh, with the leak tech? Uh, this, this seems to be a bit of a, a quite a large marketplace for already. I think there's quite a lot of 
support that uh, we've probably seen elsewhere. So there's cut the rope and a uh, handful of other, I guess, gesture-based touch games. Um, right. Uh, so it's it's not it's not alone. I think the biggest one out is has been um, uh, Double Fine. The people who've uh, done Psychonauts and. Uh, uh, quite a few other uh, well-received indie small titles have uh, put out a really nice music game that I think is the, the best thing on here at the moment. But this is probably the uh, highest profile release so far. I mean, you can see it's got a nice set of production values. Mm. It's uh, it's not exactly just uh, knocked down, is it? Uh, backgrounds look nice. Uh, I spent a lot of time on it. I mean, I have to say that the feminist in me does have to query uh, some of their choices. Well, yeah. It's this is this is supposed to be set on a comic book. Actually, we spoke to the uh, guys behind it at Gamescom, and uh, I forget where he said it. Uh, well, it's, uh, I forget where he said it was. I think it was a French comic book that it's all set on, and it's supposed to be this gritty, right. gritty world, um, which are populated with men with guns and women that are semi-naked. Yeah, well, this is this is a strip club, so. Um, uh, I at least think they're uh, in situ, uh, but I agree. The uh, the other thing is, I I don't I don't know much about the combos itself, so I don't know if this is actually an acceptable setting for them or not. But, uh, we've got just shotgun at least. There's a slow mode down there. So it's just Matrix Whoa. moment. Yeah, although well, it only lasts for as long as there are people in the room, so. Uh, Oh, wasted. Wasted. Reload. Is, it, is there any storyline? I guess if it's based on a comic book, there should be somewhere. There is, there is. Oh, uh, this is. Although it's been shooting, shooting, shooting so far, there are some nice touches. I think the humour. <laughs> humour again. Okay. Ah, so shut the door. Shut the door. So a little piece of, piece of uh, quick time. Oh, Christ. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be laughing at that, but he shut the door then. The, the humour is a bit all over the place. I think at times it thinks it's funnier than it is, because uh, there are an awful lot of crude references, and I don't know whether it's just trying to be on the money because that's what the comic book is like, but it is... I mean, it has to stand alone because they can't rely on people having read the comic it's, book, can they? Yeah, I, I, I think especially the notoriety of the comic book, I don't think has reached these shores. So. But the, the opening um, is really weird because it's... I wouldn't say... Well, it has got some quite racist um, tones to it. And whether that's because this chap is an Italian gangster going into a Korean gangster house, I don't know. But it just did make me feel a bit uneasy about it all, because it wasn't... I, I don't know if it was trying to be funny and just failed, but it just came across a bit bit lame. And things like this, the hair. The hair is supposed to be another comic book thing, and it's supposed to be a bit funny that his hair is a bit all over the place and getting in the way while he's shooting. But it's so scripted, it's it just doesn't add anything to it. So the hair always appears at the same point in time? Uh, as far as I can see, yeah. Um, if I can punch them. Yeah, that. That's a bit, bit of a risk with the man with the machete. Yeah, yeah. It's quite nice if you can pull it off, though. Um, hello. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's quite a few odd touches of presentation that I don't think sit well. Uh, the voice acting for this chap and the narrator uh, is really quite good. You know, they're obviously seasoned, seasoned pros doing the right lines. But then the woman, I think you saw right at the start. There's uh, the stripper, she is so badly voice acted. So badly. It's, it's as if she wasn't even told the situation. She was just reading lines from a piece of paper and hoping they fitted. Oh dear. I don't think we're going to get that far, but. Where you get. It is making me want to see more games with the tech. Yeah. That's... Having, having written gestures myself before, I know how hard it is to actually get things reliable. And that's one of the really sweet things about this, is that there is... I wouldn't say it's flawless, but I think the times that it's gone wrong, I know I've probably been messing up rather than it is. 
And the hair is a problem again. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's completely reliable. So I think any time you get it wrong, you know that it's going to be you rather than the machine itself. Da -da -da. And the poor mermaid lady is there. I think she's still in there, yeah. Stuck in a goldfish yeah. bowl. Huh? There are some really poor jokes. Of, actually, every time he goes past her, there is a bad joke about either strippers or fish. And he's just leaving her in there. Oh, yeah. I, 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 well, I don't want to spoil the plot for later on. This is... oh, oh, my. There is there is a twist. I, I, think, I think twist might be pushing it too far. <laughs> okay. Is it a fin? <laughs> Nephin. It is French after all. Now I don't know if anyone's played like the Time Crisis games a long time, but I mean, the back you can shoot the background here, which is nice. But you're never really given the opportunity to explore what can be destroyed in the background or not, because by the time you've done this, you're off somewhere else. Dude. I guess you guys ain't figured out let's go good for you. Yeah. I feel um, for anyone who's watched Kill Bill, I believe it's the second one where she uh, kills an enormous number of people in, in a Japanese sort of music club and uh, they're all lying there at the end of the scene except your bodies just keep disappearing. It's quite, <laughs> quite interesting to see how many uh, you've got really. The kill count is ridiculously high. You think you can stop Tony Damn it. Yeah, so the humour, right. yeah. I kind of missed that. This, oh uh, dear. Swapping guns just with a... Oh, Where is he going? I don't know. Is he... Is this just a chance for me to punch more people? Ready? Nope. So you're not controlling where you're looking at all? No, I'm just controlling where the cursor is. I should probably try and... Ah, punch someone. Yeah, not so good. No. My timing is off. Not a wet floor around. I think the game keeps trying to tell you how stupid this man is, as if to try and excuse half the stuff he's doing or the, the jokes it's around. But I, don't know, I, actually, I actually like the narrator more than this main character itself. Although they take the piss out of him later as well. So this poor lady is losing water. Yep. Oh, well, we get to help her out now here, yeah, don't worry. Let's see, it's another bad fish joke as well. So I really, I really want to know whether the bad humour is an in-joke that I'm missing, or... Has she got no way of getting out of her costume? No. Or is she an actual mermaid? <laughs> I have pushed the boat out and hired an actual mo-cap uh, mo suit for a mermaid. The sixth true origin was shrouded in mystery, but according to my number one. So it may it may seem quite repetitive, I think, in some senses. But I, I, that's what you get if you're going to buy uh, on the rail duty. You know what you're getting into. But it does do some nice things to try and alleviate the uh, just straight out shooting. For those. Like things like the um, you probably oh dear. there are sections where it gives you bonus points for uh, shooting. Uh, people in order as they uh, pop up. Uh, you saw the bit with the doors and the toilets where you have to try and uh, do some uh, quick time events to try and um, score bonus points or just stay alive half the time. So it tries to keep it fresh. Not that shotgun. It's a ridiculous range of that shotgun. Damn it. Oh, with one bullet at a time. <laughs> So is this, the, is this a tech available or is this a de demo kit? Uh, I think it is out and available because the uh, marketplace seems quite fully featured. Um, I think it was... Oh, is it? Swap guns. I think it's. I think the kit itself is like for $79. I don't know what that translates into pounds. Um, but it's quite nice. It really is quite nice. There's a few puzzle games that have come out on it as well that uh, I really want to have a look at. And you just hook it up to your PC tablet? Uh, yeah, just PC. I think PC. well PC and Mac, but uh, yeah, just USB, plug it in the back, download the kit, and away you go. Send you to a little marketplace like Steam. Um, Is this the future of gaming? Are we are we, are we sitting in the future here? I, th I think it's. 
Ah, always too slow for that one. There we go. Uh, I don't think it's the future because I think it's quite limited in what it can do because it it could detect all ten fingers, well, eight fingers, two thumbs stuck out at once. Aww. Other fish joke go coming up. Nemo, hun. <laughs> there we go. Um, so it's limited in what it can do, but what it can do is quite nice. So I think it's like most games, if they can write something appropriate for it, then it'll probably do quite well. Mm. I think this is a good start. It's 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 not going to set the world on fire, but it does enough to I think sell the concept to a slightly harder core market because it's a it's a world away from Connect, mm. and uh, fits quite nicely with the desktop nature of a PC. I think. Yeah. Here we are coming to the end of the first mission. More strippers for your delight. Is this his ex-girlfriend? I think so. I will be very intrigued to get the com comics and find out if this is actually part of it or they're just trying to ramp up for the 18 rating. Yeah, I was yeah. Saying it had to be an 18, didn't yeah. it? You probably can't see this, but Ali's heavily rolling her eyes at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm barely even watching. Right. Very good. Yeah. The strong, the humour isn't the strongest suit of this. Push. Okay. Here we, here we go for the quality voice acting. Tony, the Seek Brothers' guns jumped me outside the smoking barrel just before my shift. I thought I'd never escape. It's pure gold. Pure gold. So what's with the hardware? Is something wrong? Something wrong. So, yeah, this is uh, Blue Estate out on the new Leap Motion. Um, uh, what do you call it? I guess motion controller. I didn't want to use the word motion twice, but yeah. Tiny little little slip that you just plug into the back of your PC, and away you go. Um, the game, fun, but I think half of its tone lets it down, but good start for the system at least. I'm interested to see more. Yes. So, until next time, thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye.